Hello everyone, welcome to our Let's Play series of The Outer Worlds. This is Colonel RPG as usual, and I'm very happy that it shows to join me today, because we killed a few sprats, they were rabid, they were very upset with me, because they were in pain! I, I don't know, what actually, what, what makes... What makes... Oh, Outlaw Strikers, there's still enemies in here. Did they respawn? What makes a rabid animal attack? Or aggressive? Is it because it's in, in pain? Because animals that are in pain, they would, uh, they're pretty aggressive because of that. I swear these guys weren't here before. I swear I did this already. Okay, here we go. You shouldn't go in. Oi, get out of the way. Can't see them. Yep, couldn't detect them. I need to look at the the uh, the compass a, a lot more often <laughs> than I do. That worked out though. Got things over here. Got things everywhere. And people made into dust. I shouldn't have destroyed that. No, I should. I should. I did the right thing. Yeah, I definitely was here before. These didn't mean to do that. These fools get spawned. They also get killed. Didn't mean to do that. <laughs> I don't know what's up with me today for some reason. Anyway, it's not a problem though, because I am I skimp on it as much as I can. Anyway, um All of you are gone, that's our destination. And there's a work, workbench. I am hurt. Kind of you to notice. How do I get there, though? Oh, through there. I'm very smart. Her body is talking. She said they're real pretty and they got these really big teeth. You see them up close? I heard they spit acid right in your eyes. You saw one of them up close? I mean, yeah. They're just about everywhere in Edgewater. Can't hardly turn a corner without slipping in their entrails. Wait, are we talking about the same thing? You're not talking about Saltuna? I, yeah, I didn't know what she was talking about. I thought she was talking about... Um... Oh, this is going to be tricky. I thought she was talking about the, uh, the, the, the little sprats. Oh, what? I can jump? No way. Well, it doesn't matter. Because the way to go there, it's fast travel. <laughs> I don't actually know how to get up there. Because we just jumped down. Anyway, we're inside. Where are we headed today, Captain? The stars are the limit. The, the, that they are, I suppose. Uh, Let's take all. And I'm not over encumbered. Hey, Ada. What's up? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? Uh, yep, nothing. I request you do not wake me if I am sleeping upon your return. I don't know how to wake you. You're gonna need to teach me about that. That, so that I cannot wake you. Uh, okay, so we're doing upgrades today. And, uh, well, to one of our weapons anyway. So this is a level 16, this is a level 17 hunting rifle ultra. So I think this is gonna be something that I'm gonna want to have for a while, maybe. You have also the plasma rifle, which is the weapon I upgraded. Gotcha. It's also got some some upgrades in itself. Okay. So, install a mod. And we can choose which mod we want. This weapon. It's got the whisper quiet muzzler for firing noise reduction. It's got the short and straight barrel. For sway and spray. I should be looking over there. And this is, for, this one is for critical damage. Oh yeah, critical damage is good. And then over here... They don't have any minimum thing, right? I don't need engineering for this. I hope I don't. Uh, we got mag to power. That's plasma. We got shock, which is the one I will go with. Because I have a lot of it. And we got a scope over here for... 
Gyrosite and Extendosite. Nope, I want the Gyrosite. Uh, and that's good enough. Escape. And I can modify my armor as well, which I have been neglecting. I, I'm always very good at this. Uh, so this has got a factory stock armor plating on it. Can I remove mods? It looks like I can. Or at least... Replace them. So we have... Uh, this one is really good. Toughened. What's my armor for? Range weapon skills? Ordnance control armor? I like it. Does it need to be upgraded? Can it be tinkered with? Oh yes, it can. Are we going to use that forever? Nah. Maybe not. So let's see. If you install this mod, the slot, the current one, will be destroyed. Yeah. I think that's fine. Yeah. It looks like... It looks like it's fine. Maybe? Maybe it didn't change anything. It's, it's fine. <laughs> See? It's fine. Uh, we got Reactive Kinetic Shield, which adds Reactive Kinetic Shield Projector. When your health drops too low, this mod makes you temporarily invulnerable. That's really nice. Uh, this mod stuns and damages melee attackers, and it has a cooldown. I don't want to use either of those. Although, this one is kind of nice, and I'm, it's not like I can't buy them if I need them. And I still have another one, so let's go ahead and do that. We got a, an expensive one over here. The Thug Kit. Uh, what's that one for? This kit increases hand grip and leg springiness, increasing melee and defense skills. That's nice. And my neck just cracked, as you might have heard. Also, what slot is this? Gadget. Armoring. Skill kit. Right. For ranged weapon skills. This weapon, this armor already does that, though. Dialogue and leadership skills. Tech skills. Yeah, I'll go with that. So this has double increased ranged weapon skills? I like it. Um, backpack. Yeah, I like that more. <laughs> uh, not that I... It's fine. The, 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 fortunately, in this game, the uh, weight limits and all that sort of stuff are fairly fairly good. Nightingale step for quieter and increase the highlight range. Yeah, I don't need that one as much. Also, I have that already, so I'll go with the, uh, the carry capacity because that is a beaut. And then my friends don't don't need it. So we got some seriously upgraded weapon over there. A plasma carbine. No, I shoot. Wait. This is the... Right, that's why I thought... That's why I thought... This one's DPS is actually pretty good. So I can just stick with that one. If I want to. But we're good. Heck yeah. Okay. Uh, so that's pretty good. Let's just leave all of our mods, all of our mods over here. And also some of our weapons. So how do I transfer? That just hold. You can't hold. If you hold, um, it doesn't work. Mandibular rear. Re oh, that's a melee weapon. I didn't see that. No, you can keep it over there. Also, this one, I want to remove that. I just broke it down. I just broke it down. Oh, dang it. I don't even know what I took. What was this? Okay. I broke it down. I don't know why I'm, I meant... To, um, yep. That's, uh, that's what I did. So it's, it's really weird that he did that. It sh probably shouldn't, and I'm not sure it gave me anything. I mean, it's not that I care. I mean, I kind of wanted the, the the other thing more than than this. Okay, we're good. Uh, where to next? We didn't get any companions from here, did we? No, no, we're good. Yeah, we're leaving. Okay, yes. So our, we're probably on the uh, space time continuum. So we need to go back to Lilia, which is wait. No, 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 go, not go back to Lilia. This is the quest to go to Mo Monarch, right? Hasn't heard from our agent in Stellar Bay, but that's in Monarch. Okay, gotcha. Uh, but what I want to do... Monarch, Stellar Bay. Those are all in Monarch, so we're good. 
uh, Monarch as well. So th this is good. What I want to do, Wanda will want to Captain report to Dr. Dors Dorset. This is, of course, in in, uh, in the Groundbreaker. So let's go talk to her. There's also the science weapon that I want to buy. I never stole from you. Absolutely never. Uh, that I want to figure out how to buy. I'm not sure... I'm not sure what that quest is about. Because the, 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 the details are a little bit hazy. In my head. Why I... Like, I, I didn't see the science weapon, but maybe I wasn't looking at the right place. I definitely wasn't look, looking at the right place, because it says, Science weapon! Uh... Oh, this is over here. Medical Bay. Of course. Of course. Dr. Mfuru? Hello. Were I a gambling woman, I'd wager you're responsible for my mechanical safe return. I can't thank you enough. I was, wasn't I? Hey! No, it wasn't you. Was it you? It looked the same. I don't know, but we did it. Do you have anything else? Keep hanging around and I'll begin to think you're here for me. What can I do for you? She said that already. Nothing. You have yourself a day then. Yep. Should we pay a visit to Junlei? I mean, it's not like she's very far away. She is kind of far away. Not too far away though. Sprint fixes everything. Also cuts if I wanted to make them, which I don't because I was just enjoying the landscape. Hi. I was doing some maintenance on the radiators and found this lying around. You look like you need it more than I do. Thank you. I wasn't expecting that. Pet pills. I need pet pills. Is it, is this your doing, Parvati? Did you did you put her up for the, to this? Hmm. Anyway. Um. Uh, so yeah, we need to go to Sila Dahlia. I don't remember her name. I don't remember her name. Weapons from the Void. That's the one. Acquire science weapons. Wait. What? No, 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 no. Double click doesn't work? It does. I just didn't, for some reason, didn't double click. Or something. Maybe this game is one of those those cases where if you triple click, then it doesn't register as a double click. Even though the triple click is not assigned to anything. Hi. I really want your science weapons. Gracious. I was just sitting down for tea. You were already sitting. I saw you. I know what you were doing. I've got a lovely little throw pillow. I know. I, I don't. You said that already. Let's see what you have. So, now available. That's good, but this is not a science weapon. It doesn't say that it's a science weapon. So, it's the schematics. Because we heard that it was specifically the schematics. Hephaestus Mining Archive Cartridge Hephaestus. That's a mouthful right there. Battered Mar Mardet Data Pad. An old data pad once used by the Groundbreakers Mardet Security Forces. From the accumulated dust and grime, this hasn't been ac accessed for over a decade. What is it for? That looks fantastic, by the way. That looks amazing. I love it. That's the best machine. I wish all, I wish all machines were like that. But I think it is that. I think that's what we're looking for. Uh, is it very expensive? It is not. So I'll get it. Just buy it. The old data pad contains incident reports from various Mardet security patrols. Most are details of simple finds and dust up between uh, dust ups between the crew of Wildcat freighters and corporate haulers. Two entries have been marked for a later review. August 7, 2344 responded to a code ID 10T at the Lost Hope. That's over here. Vera asked us to bounce some back bay rat that got himself soaked in spectrum red. Drunken fool got into a scuffle with the engineer Tennyson's people. We tossed the rung leech back down to the bays. Asshole fought us the entire way, telling us we'd be sorry once he controlled the, quote, hammer's power. If this is some new hammersmith marketing stunt, I'm complaining to Sunita. And then on October 25, 23 of 44, had another run-in with a runglitch from the Lost Hope, 
don't know how the uppity piker crawled out of the back base without us noticing, locked himself into the repair bay off a docking slip thir off of docking slip 13, and refused to come out. To come out. Oh yeah, we met him. Kept raving about quote the quote chaotic weapons chaotic beauty or some shit while we were trying to talk him out. Had to break off when our shift ended. Hullhead's gotta come out eventually. I don't think he did. You're gonna get yourself killed, little guy. I don't think he did. But I also don't think it's the one that we saw. Because we... The, one of the first things we did here... Was, um... To go into the rafters. And yes, that is just plainly a bug. I don't know why. Like, if you go up close, you can see the details. They're not amazing. So maybe it's just an oversight by the designers. Um... And yeah, we, we were going around and trying to get up to places. This this definitely takes us to places. <laughs> I say that and immediately get proven wrong. Hey everybody. You don't mind me being here? Gonna head to Lear's for whiskey and darts. Maybe not in Good for you. This is you see that? News. We Do you see that? For the following story. A story? Are to air soon, I'm sure it's very good, but we didn't come here. Outlaw squad leader. Really? Here we go. Well, he was mean. That worked pretty well, man. That worked pretty well. That's what I'm talking about. I'll tell you what. <laughs> Repair hanger key card. So, was this the guy? Hmm. Don't know what to say about that. This is not the deep rafters or whatever. I forget the name. What's this for? Melee. I can't even see the price. That was so bad. Was it be was that the reason? I didn't see the, the price, or was it just because I miss everything? We have were here before, just not on this side of the door. Okay, we got a a ship for one with a very car-inspired working bay, whatever the, the, this is. Whatever, I don't know the name of this. The pit, I, it's got a name. I believe they had these in the 50s already. Sort of a... Ooh. It's sort of a relatively new invention when you compare it to the uh, the age of cars. And we have the prismatic hammer. Hammersmith was working on a hammer weapon, the pulse hammer, when its rival company, Ar Aramid Bal Ballistics, stole the plans, rushed its development, and beat them to market. All the while ridiculing Hammersmith with a marketing campaign about them having no hammers. Excuse the hiccup. No hammers in their weapon line. Hammersmith ex executives demanded the ultimate hammer to be produced, but this prototype was so expensive that it never entered production. Gosh, ain't that handsome. Do you want it? I think she wants it. I don't think she's good at this. Well, I don't know what it does. I don't know if it does anything. But, uh... There you go. Have fun. And we completed that quest, which is the most important aspect of it all. Uh, I just went straight to the safe that looks like a toaster. Um, I didn't even read the computer. Main menu. Yes, logs. What do we have? Uh, last log entry. Error. Aberrant interference. I don't actually know what that means. While rummaging through the back base, I discovered a very old hammersmith crate that uh, seemed to have been sealed for a very long time. A bit of elbow grease and determination pried it open, but I couldn't make heads or, or tails of my discovery, a prototype hammer. I don't know hammersmith... I didn't know hammersmith actually ha made hammers, but I've brought it to my lab for a closer look. How strangely it glows. The trail of its wake lingers even when my eyes are closed. I've spent more time on the hammer. Its internal workings are state-of-the-art. 
Thermal, electrical and chemical systems all working in harmony. How is it even possible? The weapon is a breakthrough in circuitry and engineering, and many of its systems appear rigged against tempering. There's a curious energy signature swirling around, uh, about the weapon, though I have yet to identify the source. The air tastes of copper, and I have lost several teeth. That's That went from 0 to 100. Um, I don't know the relationship of that. I think it's because it's intellectual damage, maybe. I think this, the taste of copper... I don't actually know what the taste of copper is, if it's related to light lightning or something like that. I have had the most sublime prismatic dream since I invited the hammer into my bedchamber. Never mind that for now. Good news first. The energy signature matches Blondio's ex elusive N-rays, raising the hammer's elemental properties to four. Shock, plasma, corrosion, and rapid radiation. Uh, now for the bad. In my attempts to neuter the self destruct functionality, I inadvertently caused a small fire. The hammer's manual controls may never function again. Swinging it seems to be the only way of cycling through its elemental modes. I must take greater care with the future exper uh, with future experiments. I've taken the liberty of locking myself in the workshop. My tinkerings were all for naught. This is no prototype. I'm simply too flawed to recognize its perfections. The hammer is a lesson. A symbol. It's wisp... Also, prototype doesn't... Prototype here is used as a sort of working work in progress. Uh, that's not what it is. Formula One cars are prototypes. All of them. The, and, and, and I realized that, like, in Le Mans... Um, or I'm not. I didn't pronounce it in the French way. But anyway, in like uh, long endurance racing, uh, they're all they're specifically called prototypes. There's like a class of cars that are called prototypes. Uh, Formula One cars are prototypes. They're also the pinnacle of well, they they are the pinnacle of motor racing. But it's anyway. The, the point is, they can be pretty perfect. Uh, just saying. Prototype doesn't mean flawed. A hammer is a lesson, a symbol. It. It whispers to me that disorder rules all things, but with a little ambition we can harness that power. Only by inflicting chaos upon others can we transmute disorder into harmony. And that is a lesson Halcyon is not ready to hear. On more than one level, I would say. On more than one level. Anyway, we got a little hammer over here! That's, uh... That's not a hammer, though. That's a rubber hammer, I believe. That's uh, one of the hammers that you use to, to put, put uh, tiles down, I think. I don't have those hammers. There's multiple types, though, of those hammers. I've seen them. It's just, I don't like those. I like the big, heavy hammers. Hammers? I'm sorry. H's are complicated for me. Um, but yeah, I, yeah, I, I, yeah, I don't have no need for the tile laying, hammering. Are we good here? Yes, we are. I see where we are. Okay, good stuff. And, wait, Duncan? What do you mean, Duncan? Who's Duncan? Duncan. I'm... The heck is Duncan? I'm trying to think if I picked up anybody then I forgot about them. But we have Ellie, we have Parvati, we have... If you stop in the engine room, would you ask Parvati to send Sam down to the bridge? Yes, we also have Sam. And we have Max. I... 41 meters. Oh, right, Duncan is somebody else. Don't move, you got a little bit of sick in your tread. There, spick and span. Next time you find Yoka fixing to barf, you come get me. I'll make sure she hits the uh, evening, Captain. Hi. Or is it afternoon? I don't know how long I've been up here. Sam, you don't say thank you? You think I could hire myself out to ships in need someday? Be my own mechanic, like how Ellie's her own doctor? I wonder sometimes. Hmm. Hey. Scanning for C-2-5. Four. Seven. Grade rated contaminants. Yeah, okay. Good work, ja Thank you. Sam. Customer, this area is utterly filthy. <laughs> yeah. Um, I was gonna say good work, job. 
Uh, that's a name. But, but no, it's not. That's I just mixed up. Good job and things. Anyway, I think the it wasn't. <clears throat> I have received a transmission oh. from Roseway from a Doctor Shaw. That's good. Welcome back, Captain. Hey, Ada. I have received a transmission from Roseway from a Doctor Shaw. Yes. Beginning playback now. What? Oh, is this on? Oh, it's on right now. Oh, blast! Hello. I'm trying to reach the captain of the Unreliable. I'll keep this short, lest I get caught. Please return to Roseway as soon as you can. I have an item of great value that you'll be interested in. Now, how do I... How does this blasted thing turn off? Damn, engineers never label these toggles clearly. Is it the... The transmission is complete, Captain. Bad, bad sound design. Thank you, Ada. May luck be with you. Yes. A bad sound designers. You should have cut it off after. Mm, that happens every once in a while. I, it's very rare that... Uh, so we need to go to Terra 2? Roseway? That's right. Um, it's very rare that games will... We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Actually edit the lines that are recorded by the voice actors... I don't know why, because they, they, I don't know why, it might be, might be a very simple explanation, because the workflow of, of this, you know, tr because this game is, tra is translated, voice acted in multiple languages and whatnot, so it, it, it's not quite a, necessarily as simple as one might hope. I got you before, yes I did. Um, also I can just teleport. But the voice actor was clearly given a, a line where he, he had the, the, the dot dot after. And he did his best, but he, they should have cut him off, like a... And uh, there we go. And he was doing it so nicely as well. Every recording, as we know, must start with, is this recording? Or a uh, equivalent uh, recording, or equivalent line. You need to start everything with, is this working? Oh, Della, yeah. So, who am I? Or who is it? Duncan, yeah. I don't remember Duncan. I don't think Duncan is here. I'm pretty sure it's not. Uh, he's not. They're not. I don't know. Uh, but this guy remembered your name. Because it's a, uh, well, it's a memorable name. Ah, I remember you. You must have received my wireless. Thank the law. I went to great risk to send that. Great risk? What risk? Oh, I I'm not allowed to use the communications room. We are still, after all, a secret facility. I asked you here because I have a working prototype of the Alti Nature, Anti-Cleo's very first weapon. I'd like you to have it before it gets confiscated. I don't understand why you're giving this to me. The schematics you fetched for me lent themselves well to the creation of the beauty you now possess. Unfortunately, anti-Cleo R&D felt otherwise. The market's already saturated, they said. Weapons are everywhere. They aren't interested in mass-producing the Alti nature, which makes this an illegal prototype weapon. Given your unlawful proclivities, I thought it'd be safest with you. So here we are. I'd rather see it in the hands of a free agent than destroyed. I... Sorry to hear that. I'll, I'll be sure to put it to good use. Which means specific... It's a science weapon? It's not. Uh, which in the world of weapons actually has specific things it uh specific it, um, interpretations it's a very colorful weapon it looks like a toy a toy a toy it looks like a toy i like it i like it a lot uh mostly because the red and blue are are very very much like this red and blue so i think this is because it's anti cleo do you have anti cleo equipment is that what it is elite armor elite troops yeah it doesn't say that yeah but it's the same colors at least it looks like. And the green just adds that d d dash of of just sickly... I don't even know what it does. It's a uh, energy weapon. Yeah, I like it. Thank you. That's uh, very nice of you. And we're out of time for the day. So we're going to need to leave. Well, we're not going to leave. We're just... You, we're going to need to stop the recording. The episode. Yeah, well, we... we